When you're thinking of the best toy form mod, you might say Kaiserreich or Smiling Leaders. But what if I told you it's a My Little Pony mod that is more in depth than any other mod out there and also more traumatizing than either of these? Now, what does this, what, what makes this mod so great? Number one, there's a bunch of puns and familiar nations like Quagatai and Piccolini. I don't like puns. A fuck ton of lore, which if you want to read, L. Got him. Uh, we don't read. There's three continents and like five billion nations, so every nation can expand and like there, there's a lot of things to do. Among other things, there's additional mechanics. We also don't have cavalry because we have horses. That's something I realized last game. I wanted to assign horses to garrison and then I was like, wait a minute, we are horses. Apart from that, we also have additional development stuff down here. Nukes are much more devastating and you know a few other fun surprises. You get malices if your society is just kind of ass. You get literacy and poverty debuffs and also a fun little thing that I'm not going to talk about because that will be complicated for me. I will get in trouble. In terms of tech you have the base tree except it's just longer. Yay. It is just hearts of iron with a new coat of paint, which means we are gonna placate the isolationists. As for our empire, we are playing as the sea pony thingamajams. We have a semi balance of power thing that was probably made before balance of power. It's like the old balance of power. Mexico balance of power. Either way, throughout the game, we'll get an event every few months to ticket in either direction. Can you imagine that? A balance of power that doesn't break your whole run because you picked an advisor too soon or too late and now you have 0.2% too much Lederwagen support and now you can't overthrow the government? Wow! What an insane concept. I will never stop complaining about Switzerland. We also have some liberal clubs, so we're just gonna say they have every right to exist. And we are gonna go down our focus tree a little bit until we get the Hippogriff Miracle. We're also gonna get Coral Ridge. And after that, I wouldn't mind getting Skybeak. We do need army XP, a lot of it, because the world out there is dangerous for us. And we're just gonna get a little bit of SLPA support. The Social Labour Party of Aris, 25% monthly population. Wow, that's probably very good. I really like the Ocean Trench Warfare. Like that just gives us so much additional entrenchment. But we'll see if we can afford to get it before something kicks off. Right, Navy, stack it up. I uh, might as well train it, but it should already be trained. And then I also want air, honey air breeze. Oh god, I forgot. Ah, I didn't even see the focus was finished. No, we lost so much time. Maybe, I don't know. I hate myself. I legitimately do hate myself. There we go. Much better. We can also ban what our people wear, but stability never was an option. There we go. Gonna get a few more building slots ready. And we might as well already start with getting some mill factories ready. Next, we're gonna get a universal education. And I probably should have organized the left first. Yeah, minor mistake from my side. But I'm just gonna make the assumption that we're not gonna die because of it. The world will still spin. Yeah, I'm gonna get sea spray as well. I don't really like investing into navy, but we should invest a little bit into navy. At least a very basic tech, you know. Smoke generators and a few points into fire control and damage control. Because I fucked up here, we are a little bit bricked because we now have to get our communism to above 50%. I mean, that's not even that bad. Once we do the Marxist revolution, all of these focuses above will be locked out. Honestly, if up here, I mean, that's just navy stuff. This one is mostly just research speed. There's a few things. I think this one. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. This one is nice, the 10% production cost for small airframes, but you know, it's most of this is just like, it's neat, but it's not worth delaying our path for that. We don't need logistics in our leg infantry, but we do need support AA. Let's just start pumping out a few of those. Also, I don't know if that's road to 56, but there's like 5 billion levels, experience levels. Yep, we have 54%, so we can move on. But I still just want the additional two SIF factories plus the two underwater building slots. Stallion Grad, haha, <laughs> get it. It's a pun. I love puns. Puns are so fun. Bolt attack. Aircrew surveys, centralized control, instilled aggression. I should have taken naval reform first. Naval reform. There you go, the blue revolution. We are now blue, I mean red, I communists. We have shot the queen. Damage is still around. We 
yeah it's complicated you know a girlfriend of mine said that once because a guy hit on her and she assumed that would help but that was probably the worst response one could give like so like are you in a relationship well like it depends yeah that's surely gonna deter a guy looking for sex gonna take rocket neverfall as well and then selena blue we have to actually start mobilizing quite a lot we are now revolutionary north Sabreka. for no particular reason i'm gonna draw a f actually i don't even have to draw a front line that doesn't make sense actually i do have to draw front line it does make sense yeah let's get ocean breeze the brilliant strategist <laughs> First doctrine costs us zero XP. I'm gonna go down with no compromise on communism. Get the advisor, the hardliner. Ah, hurricane. No. Just after I clicked another decision. Could have saved five PP. The game is over. Also, uh, we're not going dispersed industry. We're getting separated complexes. We have swayed the princes to communism, so we get 0.1% communism support. Yay. Wow, look at the rest. That was 2%. <laughs> That was four! Let's also get the final solution with the list. Uh, here's the fate of Puyi if you want to read it. Uh, the chiropractors, if you've looked at the map, have also grown a little bit, which is certainly not gonna be a problem. I highly doubt it will be a problem, but um, just in case I will put up a few naval invasion troops. People want some insects as pets and they are very hungry. Uh, I'm gonna confiscate them <laughs> and then we are gonna send them to the firing squad. No, it is about Shinda's list. I mean, uh, Posada's list. Life in prison it is. Then we can do the factories of the future, which finally gives us some mobilization. Fuck, stupid hurricane, man. I hate global warming. And one thing that's actually a little bit cool about this, they have reworked the economy laws, uh, the, yeah, the economy laws a little bit. I didn't even see the total mob symbol. <laughs> War economy costs you PP, which actually makes sense. Civ economy gives you more research speed and all that. I kind of wish I could create a faction with you because somebody is growing quite a bit. Same as a certain Bicolini who's invading Abyssinia. Oh wait, we can already create the medium tanks that I wanted. Dozer blades as cheap as possible with the one pony turret. There we go. Upgrade the engines once. Free entrenchment. That is pretty good. I really like not one inch. I do like two inches. <laughs> oh, jeez. What have you done to air designs? The chiropractors are going in against Wazina. We need to get this focus done as quickly as possible. Right, I'm gonna go down the endurance tree and... I mean, this stuff is pretty good. But this one is also pretty good. Hills and mountains. Uh, I feel like the terrain map mode used to look different. Oh well, I guess I'm gonna go down here regardless. Yep, yeah, nope, uh, we're not gonna make it in time. Because now we could send volunteers, but yeah, we, we need not one inch. abso fucking lootly. I do like it, but it is a pretty stupid nation. <laughs> we have to have a navy in order to really work. Just because this is technically occupied territory. Camp mitigation training, what is that? Speak English. What, what does camp mitigation training mean? It's probably the army attrition and stuff down here. No idea. Things are gonna kick off. I also just realized I haven't been placing units in a while. In the meantime, I guess we can do the Adam Burns Blue and start the research on atomic research. Put a few things into doctrines so that we're as prepared as we can be. Stockpiles are looking okay-ish as well, but it's all gonna depend on how much we will lose in the first few months of the war. Immediately stop training. They declared sooner than I thought they would. Naval invasion coming in, but <laughs> I'm prepared for once. Oh my god, Kirchus is amazing. Enemy retreat chance plus 20%. Now we can develop some music and Piccolini is coming in because he's a pussy and he can see that we are just in danger but we're not really in danger. The navy will be in danger but if we ignore that then the rest will be fine. There we go, naval invasion here but it's okay because we are prepared. What just happened to our supply? Uh, it's probably just all of the convoys getting raided here. I guess we can annihilate poverty while we're at war. And our anthem will obviously be the international there is no other choice and we can't create a faction but it's gonna be fine it's just small encirclements here i guess we were small encircled why did you lose your order thank god i realized that i guess we're also gonna do it properly the way you're supposed to all right did i forget about anything i don't think i did one problem that we have right now which is split very thin as soon as i start pushing these units will be encircled you pin this one come on no well, at least we can expand a little bit here. Come on. Yes! Got in the settlement and we saved them. 
Whew. Division numbers right now are quite important. That's 60 versus... Yeah, around 60 as well. The Carthinian Pact doesn't really matter because Piccolini, as far as I know, only really raids our navy. There we go. Poverty is no more. Just takes 42 days. America, take note. Please. I'm also gonna try and get this encirclement going. Nice. Very nice. More units for the front. Because, the, like, this front is not stable at all right now. If the AI realizes that I'm just walking through their countryside, all of these units will be encircled. Also, we are out of fuel. Which doth suck. It's a bit messy, but only slightly. It just sucks that our the front line is just getting larger and larger. It also doesn't help that there's eight divisions assigned to this front. All right, you lot immediately, just for a minute, as always, they immediately retreat instead of just pushing or staying here. That was a pretty good naval invasion. They could have just kept it up, especially like this. There we go. There's another one. I need to set up more defenses here. I'm gonna risk it. We're gonna go down to one division per tile here. Things are just too expensive otherwise. All right, uh, I can focus on this front a little bit again. Let's just take a bunch of tiles. I wouldn't mind taking Colgate, but they are very close to capping. Time to make peace. Yes, that is actually a better front than I expected it to be. Fall of Van Hoover. <laughs> No, I didn't! Puns are still bad! Just because I snorted does not mean that puns are good. Sorrentia has no VPs, I love that. They just have their one capital. Now we just need to walk through the countryside and get enough states so they cap. Coring the north decisions. Oh, yes, I have PP. I can call the north. And I guess we're just gonna close the pockets here. Again, we don't need eight divisions for these two tiles where there's no enemies. But that's just my opinion. Maybe pony warfare is different than normal warfare. Human warfare. Such a mess. There we go. Those eight can go up there. First vision. Ooh, gets event I. While a prisoner of the Storm King, the general secretary came across a strange artifact that gave her visions she could not understand. While her memory is still fragmented and uneasy, she sometimes has visions. As we progress our understanding of science, especially in the nuclear field, perhaps Posada's <laughs> memory will begin to improve excuse me okay what is what's happened here okay guys please you lot all just go to this go to this that's a shame we're gonna survive it's just piccolini okay this sucks now there we go now we might be able to win here just have to make very calculated moves there we go does it work please guys yes all right let's just try and get this war over with then oh my god i almost i almost entered here completely there's another naval invasion up there and the supply is shit the attacks from Bicolini are getting more and more i guess that would also help i just assumed that they had roads in their own country but i guess they don't the enemy ai is also moving so weirdly they are shuffling around like there, there's nobody here and then suddenly there's 50 divisions here Ooh, nice actually made it can you stop please it's not gonna work my friend we can't import stuff Stuff right now because that all requires convoys and we don't even have our subs anymore caramel marks yes conquer it supply yeah they're down to like 15 divisions at this point and a big chunk is here so if we can close this pocket they're already trying to evacuate just gonna help them here a little bit no they've actually made it out also piccolini gave up it seems like i am legally blind i should just stop complaining that the di isn't doing anything because piccolini just started free naval invasions the empire strikes back get it it's a reference to chilean beer i wanted to snipe here okay no no i'm, I'm actually gonna snipe here i'm gonna send a few units just deep into the territory <laughs> yeah there we go they're now all cut off and these can just go for VPs and the rest will reinforce and then these are all encircled. The AI is panicking as they should. Right now just close up pockets wherever you can. Take single tiles. He is being a little bit cringe today. Nice. We're out of this war. I am actually a bit tempted to just puppet Colgate because we can't core it anyway. And then um, just give me resources and industry from them and he's immediately expanding a little bit more that at least cleans up this border and we also don't have to do actually we still have to defend it yeah we still have to defend it obviously now we could declare one marigipt to get rid of this piece i'm gonna take the white piece off him because uh we need to fix our country a little bit yeah there we go i mean we didn't even need the guns but still we need aa we need rt we need to get back on track okay I guess it's time to load additional focuses. I have no idea what's gonna happen here. We might lose these focuses. Big Lord just dropped, if you wanna read it. I didn't even know you could scroll down here. 
Okay, so that's just the second doctrine. Oh, interesting, I guess. Thank you. Thank you, mod developers, for allowing us to disband units. We can probably also... No, we can't shoot it. We can't disband the last warband, but we have a decision to do it. Can you imagine what this would be like? Oh, God, the princess is a Nazi. A genuine Nazi. Oh, well, I guess a racist, not a Nazi. Racial special for... No, I'm... I'm not even gonna look into it. I... I'm not interested. Nice, we can start integrating some states. I'll gladly take that looking at my manpower. All right, let's build a few armored cars then. I can't believe I'm saying this. How many would we need? Oh, uh, just a casual 6,000 armored cars. All right, we're gonna stick with the National Guard for now then, until we have a few armored cars. The following will bypass the focus. What less done. Okay, that's stupid. There we go. Why do we need this one state to bypass this focus? That makes no sense. All right then, time to prepare a naval invasion i sure hope this is gonna work out i assume there's no guaranteeing in this because there's so much crap going on anyway nobody's playing police and curing this will take a while but there are crystals here Ooh, it's gonna be very useful for our nuclear project build underwater nuclear reactor Ooh, that's surely not gonna go wrong nuclear reactor output will give us tungsten and chromium right Ugh. yeah i guess i'm gonna call you in just so we can push there we go fate of true of terror Jesus. That just hit me out of nowhere. So the first option is Patan, which is leave Job Terra and put some old guy in charge. The second option is re-education. The third option was genocide. 50,000 pop in six states. I mean, I really don't want to shoot that many people. I mean, ponies. I guess I'm gonna do this. God, I thought this was a fun little pony mod. This is just turning into TNO. All right, let's just occupy Quagatai. Let's think of happier things. I'm just gonna hope that this works. It doesn't. We're in trouble. Okay, if we had more enemy intel, we might be able to make this work. Um, let's see. Radar station. New method of execution. Jesus, this is going a little bit wrong. Ah, uh, but 100 pp. I don't have stability anyway. But 100 pp. I also want to see what the reactors do. Oh, we made it. Nice. The reactor execution was successful, it looks like. Honestly, I'm just gonna order this. This should be fine. It's not very fun. Radiation is not very fun. Oh, why did you leave the front? <laughs> This front is a- Come on! This front is a mess. You could have just finished the encirclement here. All right, go here. You attack. You lot, please stay here. You lot, please stay here. And then we make another one here. Yeah, I don't care. You can just conquer this. I'm just gonna take your own country. And then we'll call it quits after you capped. I just can't anymore, man. Actually, you lot go here. And then you just do this. You take the port. Why is there nobody here? Have I already said that this war is a mess? Because this war is a mess. Oh no, they haven't capped yet. Wait, I also need- You're the pup- What? I have to defeat your puppet? All right, I guess we're gonna take out the Mongols then. And we might as well get the motor landing craft. Just in case we need more naval invasions, because we might- just have to go to wing body or something. 0.19 a day. Doesn't help that our stability is low. Doesn't help that we are a country that just doesn't get PP with all of our problems. I also don't think I mentioned it, but we genuinely have every single designer to, that we could want, which is cool and makes sense. I wouldn't mind having that in the base game. I mean, not every nation needs it, but you know, like France is just completely scuffed with the designers. Just the fact that you can't get any designers like th that's the one thing that i dislike the most you can't even be like hey america can i buy your designers can we do something there oh nice you can go now what do you mean with owner be allied with all of north sabrica is this north sabrica is this north sabrica is this north sabrica please subscribe to help me find north sabrica it's just like w w where does it end where does it go i guess it's these tiles as well as this one but not this I don't know. Oh, come on, Paradox. You said I only had to take out these. Okay. You changed your mind. Well, I feared that was gonna happen. Let's attack from here to here. Wait, 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 wait. We can unite the Arisian society. A perfect union. Yes. Give me PP. 0.85 PP a day. It's almost as if I was playing America. Yes. We'll have war support, which will increase our stability, which will increase our PP. Let's also do war propaganda once. War plan hydrogen. Still more focuses to go. From the Reventurn. Yes. 
has breaking gravity's chains. The power of the sun, every state with a nuclear reactor we control will receive a beneficial modifier as well as any we construct in the future. Friends in Scandinavia. Well, I guess they are already dead. The Dread League. The Queen of Bones. She's hot. You didn't hear that. I'll just cut it out of the video. Oh, we've lost zero sea ponies in wars and occupation. Nice. No idea how we made that, but apparently we did. Finding Foo Fighters. That sucks. Stallion Grant is already in the Socialist Union. Not sure if this is gonna work then. Nice. So, what? Without warning. Okay, um... Stallionrad joins us. Perfect timing, my friend. I mean, they didn't They didn't join us. They just said that they did it. We can call things. Yes. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. I love that precision bombing is under cluster bombing and modern strike bombing is under precision bombing. Oh, Stalingrad wants to help as well. I'm not gonna say no to that. Horse Stalin. Oh no, he's back. The crazy horse goal Stalin. Would you look at that? Naval invasions. Oh, that's fine. It matters not. Wait, you're not in the war. I'm gonna call you in anyway. I'm gonna request all of your forces and you stop attacking. Because that is messing up the front. I had my nice motorized division here. I want to push with them to charge. Okay. What does this mean? What does the beneficial modifier mean? I don't know. They should take out Nepal in a minute and then it's just us. Stallion Grad is pushing too much. I can just do this. There we go. Fall back. No, this is enabling a counterattack. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Nepal is gone, which means you lot can go in again. There we go. Let's just keep this simple. And just full frontal assault. <laughs> Yo, trucks are so nice. That should work. Yes, it does. <laughs> Let's link up the supply hub in Stagatal. Let's link up the other supply hubs here then as well. Why do you not have a single railroad here? There we go. Supply hubs are ready and we can push again. Our oh, Fuchs Street is just turning into Finland. We get so many buffs. Heat expert. <laughs> I've never seen that one. Well, apart from you, of course. There we go. Thank you. We have expanded a little bit now. And you know what they say. It's best to keep your friends very close. I never played mod on day mod. I don't know how a helicopter works. Surely you need 1.5 thousand convoys. Goodbye, Colgate. Very nice country. Very nice country indeed. Eight days to research the M21. I don't think I want to use that. 28 days to research a helicopter. I don't want to get in there. And I don't want my units to get in there. <laughs> Anyone we are at war with will suffer the Sunset Atoll Terror National Spirit, weakening their will to fight. Alright, time for war plan Hydrogen. Proletarium Revolution. <laughs> the new elements. I love it. I move that we declare war on every supremacist state in the world. <sighs> now, this might have been the best mod, but the most fun mod was Stalingrad, which you can find right here.